Alright, so on today's update, I'm going to show you what I'm doing to make a washer dryer closet. I've taken what's normally a hallway, and I've decided we're going to stack the washer and dryer in here. And I get to drill up in through here because I've got to run the new heavy duty wire to be able to enable the 220 circuit that the dryer is going to necessitate. It's great to have new space, but with new spaces, you always have to rewire stuff. And you know, I've been rewiring for a while now. Okay, so a few people have watched my updates are concerned for my health and safety and well-being. Thank you very much. I've got goggles on, so as I drill overhead, all the wood chips won't get into my eyes so bad. So here we go, guys. You can see, you can witness me actually being careful with what I'm doing. Okay. There it goes. Okay, we're through. Woo! Now I can run my 6.3 gauge wire down to be able to power the 220 outlet, which will work for the dryer. And also run some of that Romex 12.2 so I can power the washing machine as well. More coming at you in a little bit. All right, so I've got all my drilling done. I ran all my wires up through the ceiling, across over to where the panel is going to be on the other side of the house. Down here, you can see I'm all set here. I got my wire in here ready to go to uh, for the wall outlet for the washer and then my heavy duty wire for the 220 outlet which the dryer is going to need. On the other side of this wall I've got this piece of wire right here which is going to go through this stud on the other side <coughs> so it will feed the refrigerator. I couldn't remember refrigerator. Anyway this will feed the refrigerator and the other wire will go back up to the ceiling and feed some wall sockets. We're gonna go cut that hole in just a second. Check it out. All right, so you can see my wires. They go up through the ceiling and down here. And the way I have them drilled is they come in on this side of the joist. I'd like to have them on this side because down here at the bottom here, you can see my little water spout where the refrigerator is gonna hook into for the ice maker and the water dispenser. So what I'm gonna do is just drill a quick hole through this so I can put the electrical outlet on this side of the joist just because I'd rather not have it on the same side that's feeding water. I don't know, water, electricity, I'm just thinking maybe they shouldn't be right together. Just an idea. So here we go, check it out. Can feed it right through, voila. Plenty of room to put my electrical box in there now. All right, so here's the thing. We're running two wires into the box over there near the refrigerator because we're daisy chaining them. I'm okay. making that circuit feed that refrigerator and then two other electrical outlets over here in the kitchen. Got it. How it works, you've got your outlet. This looks familiar to you. Hey, I know that. Okay. Black and white wires Ooh. go to the screws on one side of the outlet. That looks scary. Why? I don't know, it just looks scary. And then the ground goes to the ground screw right there. Mm -hmm. So it's grounded. So this comes in, feeds the power to the refrigerator. Okay. That alone would be fine, except I want to run power from this power over the ceiling and down to one of the other outlet boxes. Oh. So I run the other wire on this side. Got it. That goes to the next wall outlet. Got it. And I can do that in succession as long as, sorry, I don't mean to poke you with my wires. <laughs> I can do this in succession as long as the circuit breaker will uh, hold the amount of amps that each circuit adds up to. Okay. So I'm going to run a fridge, right. a GFCI outlet, and then another outlet off of that. How do you know that's enough or not enough or not Because too much? I'm good with math, yes. No, um, I just know how much the amps will be Math eludes me. And then I'll, I'll run the appropriate circuit breaker in the panel. Got it. Actually, my electrician will do that. Right. I'm doing all the busy scut work so I don't get charged out the wazoo. Mm. I hate when money comes out the wazoo. It, it hurts. Yeah, it's not very good. No. Anyways. There is a cream, I think, for it, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's called yeah. more cash. Yes. All right, so there it is. All right.